Today we're going to be showing you how you can get your own custom Chapter 5 terrain material in UEFN. Alright, so right now I am in UEFN. I'm going to be showing you what the layers will look like with this new Chapter 5 terrain piece that I made just recently. But before we go into that, let's look at what the grass looks like. And let's slow this down so we can really look at this grass. Now look how good this looks. Now, when we move over to like the higher pieces of the terrain, look how good it looks. And it really does make you feel you are on the Chapter 5 map. Now these are like the paints that we have. I'm going to paint over here to get like a better look at them. But here is what the snow biome will look like. Alright, so I have my paint tour here. Now look, let me paint the snow. Now look how cool this is. We can even smooth it out on the edges. Look how clean that looks. Now when we go in game, you will see footprints snow around just the paint that i have of the snow biome and there's also a contrail when you walk but you can only see that if you have max graphics let's go over to the second one this is kind of like a stone path but as you tell like when you do it it kind of has like the curves like pointing this way but you can still make it look very neat you can like smooth out the edges and it looks really good it looks also looks like very shiny i'm telling you these layers and the entire like material it has some good stuff cooking up and you're really gonna like this material let's paint the dirt path this is kind of like a simple thing just paint around the edges i'm telling you everything that i made in, in this material is like really good we even have the sand right here which will have the footprints also without the edges look how good it blends into for everything like it all blends in very well now the thing about the grass for this material is that there is like no grass that's like sticking up it's all like in the ground but i feel like that is better than having the grass that sticks up we also have the moss that you're probably seeing on the chapter 5 map and I did include this in the material because well this is chapter 5 and you want to kind of have stuff in this material that you see on the chapter 5 map we also have like this kind of like I'm not sure what this is like kind of like a rocky texture we kind of smooth this out and look how clean everything just blends in now now for the seventh layer it isn't like a different kind of path if anything it's water so we could do is we go smooth these edges out and we kind of have like puddles this is kind of just to create puddles uh but when you go in game you will hear when you jump up and down and walk on it you will hear water sounds as if you're in water but you actually aren't so you don't need like the water devices to create this all you need is the paint and you can kind of create like puddles because it really does look like this is water and uh it's actually pretty sick how i made this and i made all of these layers custom i made it all by myself so let me show you how to make layer one all the way up to layer 7. Before we go into how to customize layer 1, what you want to do is that you want to go into layer 1. Well, no, let me show you how to create the material instant. So what you want to do is that you want to go to all. You want to search up landscape. Let me search that up. And then you want to go down and you want to find, let's see, this one. MI Fortnite Landscape Customizable 01. Create instance and put that wherever you want. Now, once you find that, I've already created mine, so I'm going to go back to where I have it. I'm going to go into meshes, and I'm going to double click on it to customize it. Before we do that, you want to go into your layer 1, and you want to change it to snow. Go into layer 2, change that to stone. Go into layer 3, change that to dirt. Go into layer 4, change that to sand. Go into layer 5, change that to grass. Layer 6, cave rock, and then layer 7, water. Now, let's go in to how to customize the layers for this chapter 5 material. What you want to do is that you want to double click on the landscape material in your content browser. Go into that, and here we go. We have the entire thing right here. This is what your thing should look like. It'll have all of the stuff that I have right here. It's not a lot. It's not going to take you a while. Let's start off with the cliff. The cliff physical material will be grass. That is like the thing that isn't going to be painted on. That You want that to be grass. So... Every single texture that I'm going to be showing you in today's video will be in my Discord server. Everything will be labeled and categorized in the way that you'll need it. So all the snow thing will be into one message and the others in one message. So everything is organized and it will be in the bypasses channel. So let's go all the way down until you see cliff. You'll need to check the first one off. This one will be 1.91. You don't got to worry about the decimals. Just get, least, just get the number close to this one change the texture scale to kind of like a white color change the base color texture to rock base 01d now the thing about like these things is that it's always d s n so whenever you download stuff make sure it's, it's sourced from d s and n so this is the cliff thing you just want to put d s and n it all will be categorized in the discord server so you just got to take Every single thing, when you download it, it will show DS and then it will show the same thing that I have right here unless you change the name. So, 
let's go up into layer 7 we're going to start from the bottom all the way to the top so this is what layer 7 numbers will be now i did i didn't check off this one because i didn't really find a difference and i really didn't worry about that but but every single one other than this one is checked off and changed so these are the numbers for this one now let's go into layer 6 which is the kind of rock thing that we have we have the real d f and n and then we, i just changed this to 3.78 and i changed this to 1088 and you see the colors and kind of the white colors is all f right there and then the second one is right there so let's go into layer five we have the coast ground this is d s and n i didn't change any of the numbers because i didn't find a difference and it looked good just like that so change the materials like i said everything in the discord is organized and categorized very neatly so this is the sands we have sand d s and n change it to that and this is the layer four base color tint you can change it to the numbers down here or try to get a color that looks just like that so let's go into layer three i didn't change anything other than the textures so this is the gravel you have d f and n once again now this is layer two the kind of stone path the only thing that i changed once again was the textures we have cobble aad cobble aas and then cobble aan change the textures once again everything's organized for the last time and this is the snow biome so i changed the layer one texture scale 717.10 the thing about this is that i changed it to the wind blown snow od2 ods and then o2n 1.1 down here and these are the colors right here you can change those by copying it once again and this is what the grass is going to look like now the grass is kind of complicated because well it has a lot of stuff going on so the base texture scale is 525 point whatever the grass is grass d01 then we have the base color height map these are the colors down here 7.35 i checked that off changed the color to all f's and then i changed the base color noise to snow 02 nor gl1k then i changed the base base color noise to that number right here you don't got to worry about the decimals once again and then i have the colors right here and then i have the second one the third one, I'm not sure if this is the same like the original, but I just want to make sure you get everything as I do. And then we have 1.31, and then the texture right here is, I think these are all the originals right here. But I did check off the R right there, and that is it. So, once you have everything done, we've already changed the physical material. So when you go in the game and you max out your graphics, you should already see the footprints, the contrails, and the stuff coming from the ground. And you should also hear the sound effects. Now, let's get out of this. And let's look at what happens when we scope. So when we scope, it's really going to look like chapter 5. Now we can also create ramps. Look how clean that is. We have a chapter 5 ramp. Now you can publish this. So it isn't like anything illegal or what UEFN calls illegal. It has nothing to do with that. You can also publish using this material. And now if you do use this, make sure to let me know once again. And uh, look how clean this is. We can also just paint snow around it. The snow paint is really good, and it looks really good Like when you paint around it. Especially with the snow coming from the ground, it looks really good, and it really does feel really good. So we're about to go in-game and see how this looks in-game after I sketch out the edges. Now look how cool this is. But look how, like, it's very, like, kind of sparkly in a way when, it, when you get in, like, the perfect angle. But I'm telling you, this material is stacked with good stuff. Now let's go in-game and see how it looks. Oh, well, I'm in-game, and look how clean, once again, the Chapter 5 terrain that I made looks in-game. And look at look at the grass. It really does feel like I'm on the chapter five map. Even the grass looks really good on max settings. Now I'm gonna be showing you how this looks. And as you walk, look at this. When you walk on the snow, you have footsteps. You have particles. Look how clean this looks. You even have footsteps too. I didn't know that. I was actually I thought this was a thing that you have to add. But it looks like you have max graphics. That's when it shows up. Look at that. So when you, you play on max graphics and you walk on the sand and stuff, it has... But yeah, look how clean the snow looks. You even got like stuff going around like the snow and it's all in the snow place. And as we move over here into the... There's no footsteps here. Look how clean this is. This is the like kind of thing that we have going on. Like this kind of pathway. Look how shiny it looks. I'm, I'm telling you, these layers and materials and stuff, it's, it's really clean. It's going to really look good in your map. Especially if you use this. And if you do use this material, make sure to let me know. Because I want to see what you create using these materials. And look how clean this looks. It even sounds really good too. 
this is the third one this is the third now there is no footstep i think i could probably change this but yeah you just got some dirt right there and this is the sand much yeah look at this there's footsteps in the sand there's even like a little contrail as you walk backwards look how clean this is you even have like the sand noise i'm telling you this is like really cool and you only get this if you change the physical material the sand dirt water etc and you get cool stuff looking like this it even blends in really well now as we move over look at this we have grass now there is a different sound like when you walk on here maybe there isn't but yeah it still blends in very well and it looks like i'm on chapter five once again now this is the where is the stone did i actually cover it all it looks like i actually covered it all with the water but look how clean that looks now like i was saying earlier with the water this is yeah we got like a little piece you kind of hear like the stone but look at this water look how clean that is there is no footsteps there is like no contrail but then yeah, when we move off of it you hear nothing but when you move on to it you hear the water because well that's what i kind of wanted the material to be and you can even tell like this is water because like you see like the difference with the shadow and stuff and even like when you look at the brick you kind of see like the shininess as if it's wet now you could do this to anything you could put that over you could put that over thing wait is that like is that i thought those splashes for a second uh, but yeah you do hear splashes but you just don't hear like see like the effects or anything but look how sick this is now looking at this piece right here now i think yeah so look how clean these pieces look i'm telling you this chapter 5 material you're really gonna love because it's really clean and it's really gonna go well in maps and you even have like that look how clean everything looks the grass looks really good you have like the rock pieces over here and then you have the entire terrain piece right here i'm telling you this material is really good i'm really glad i decided to do so because well i could really use this in like really a lot of maps and i could put this to use in many ways look how clean this is footprints contrails blends in very well you got snow coming from the sky i'm telling you this video is packed with good stuff for people that use uefn now if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and let me know if you want more uefn tutorials down below